<laughs> okay, so we're doing this style Rialto today. And a um, couple of problems with this style. Either this big old contraption of a fill valve goes bad and it just keeps running and running, or the flush valve, which is the overflow tube over here, if you see that green gasket at the bottom, a lot of times that'll start leaking and the water just leaks out into the, uh, into the bowl and makes that fill valve keep running and running. So you really don't know which one is which until you actually fix it. So Cola has come up with this retrofit kit. There's the part number for you. Rialto retrofit kit and it comes with a new fill valve. It comes with a new flush valve and a new gasket and it's also the new style so it actually flushes a little better. It comes with a new float, it comes with uh, the two float arms. You replace the size that was in there originally. It also comes with a new flap and all the little hardware pieces. Also you would want a new supply line. Now these toilets are very low to the ground back there so I usually take the 12 inch and loop it and I'll show you the one that's under there because I did this about 10 years ago and you see how I loop it under there. Now that shut off valve, to start off with you're going to want to shut that but when you're done you're going to want to check that this isn't leaking because these hardly ever get used so they tend to leak right behind the knob. When you do use them after you open it back up it'll usually like be dripping. There's a nut right back here, it's called a packing nut. You usually just have to give that like an eighth of a turn or a quarter turn tight to solve any little seepage you may get out of there when you turn it back on. So pay attention to that. So uh, we shut the water, we flush it, and then any water that's left, you're gonna wanna bail out with like a sponge, a rag, or, uh, or uh, somehow get the tank uh, emptied out. It, after you flush it, there's usually like a half an inch of water. So uh, I happen to have this little device that sucks the water out of but uh, use a sponge or a rag or something like that. The next thing we're gonna do is take everything out. So uh, we're gonna start down here. We're gonna take the supply line off there and up under here. Then there's a big bolt holding this flush valve in. And I'll show you here, that's the, we're gonna take that off and then the whole flush valve will come out. Then we're gonna go over to the overflow tube here and there's two different styles in there. One has like screws and lugs in it that you'll unscrew with a screwdriver. The other one just has like plastic lugs and you'll just be able to like uh, turn it counterclockwise and it'll pop right out. Then the old gasket, a lot of it sticks to the bottom in a porcelain there, so you're gonna wanna scrape it off with like a wire brush or an abrasive sponge or something. Make sure you get all the old foam gasket that may be left. Actually, this is upside down. When you do install it, the wide part goes uh, goes down like that. Now I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. First we're gonna get this stuff out of here. Now a nice thing about the Kohler kit is it comes with that new flush valve, which is the thing the flap goes in the overflow tube. And I'm telling you, with these Rialtos, you don't know if it's that fill valve, you know, the thing with the arm and the float, or if the foam is leaking at the bottom of the flush valve. So a lot of times, there's some aftermarket kits that are cheaper than this uh, Kohler kit, which is like over 150 bucks, and they just, the aftermarket kits are just this. As a matter of fact, this is actually this is actually an aftermarket. It's a non-Kohler, and it just comes with this. So let's say it costs ninety, and it's half the price. But the real problem is this overflow tube. So you still didn't solve it by putting in that aftermarket kit. So uh, that's why I like the Kohler. It basically comes with everything that's in the tank. All right, so we're replacing that. Replacing this. Now we're going to get this overflow tube out of here. First thing we're going to do is disconnect it from the flush arm. And you might use a needle nose for this or just, uh, I kind of just disconnect it. And I'm going to feel in here. Okay, this is the kind with the lugs, so I should just be able to grab it and twist it. And it comes out. And that gasket's still in there. So we're going to peel that up. And you can see there's still a lot of that green stuff down there. We're going to have to get that off with a wire brush or scraper. So this could actually be leaking too. So that's what I'm telling you guys. 
All right, so now we're gonna clean up uh, that foam inside the tank. We're gonna make sure it's clean around that hole there. Um, we're just gonna clean it up, get ready to put the new one in. And remember the wide part goes, goes to the bottom where you're gonna seat it. And we just cleaned up the bottom of the tank, the porcelain in there. Let's see if I get you a shot of that. We just cleaned it up with a wire brush all around there. And there was also, besides the green stuff, there was also like a sealer a glue from the factory. So we used a scraper and a wire brush. All right, so we got the, we popped the wide part on. Then you open a little parts package and there's these screws and there's three holes inside here. The screws go in the holes. I'm doing this one-handed. Sometimes you gotta put them in with a screwdriver. So I'll show you that. Uh, let's see if I can deal with that. These gonna hold the lugs that's actually gonna clamp this thing in. So you want to kind of thread these screws all the way down, and then these brass lugs go on the bottom of the screws, and you just uh, put them on so maybe the screws even with the bottom of that thing, and uh, of course the other two. So I've got the three, and the whole idea is you kind of face these in, and then put it down in the hole in the tank. And after it's down there, you move these out and tighten them up evenly, working your way around, like two turns, two turns, two turns. Keep working your way around. Try not to over tighten it, you could crack the porcelain. But the idea is these tabs compress this and hold it in and create the watertight seal. <clears throat> You want to put this oriented the same way as the old one was, which is basically against the wall of the tank, the outside wall of the tank. Um, all right, so we're going to like angle them in, and we're going to put it down in there, and then we're going to start working our way around, getting them tight. I find that uh, sometimes as you're tightening the screw, that this thing just spins underneath. So I'll take one hand, and I'll, I'll show you from the bottom, but I'll feel, because it's kind of tough to see, but I'll feel this short end and I'll put one finger here on one hand and I'll tighten the screw with the screwdriver in the other hand and then I'll move to the next one I'll move this out and once they tend to touch the porcelain as it's getting tighter and tighter they kind of stay where they are so you don't really have to hold them but that's basically the technique I use I hold with finger and other hand tighten screw Okay, so <clears throat> so that's done. You can see the black thing is a little bit compressed there, if I get you a good light angle. Um, and, uh, I mean, if you mess it up, you can always start again. The problem I had a couple of times in the beginning is uh, those brass tabs would fall off and go down inside the bowl, and I'd have to, like, fish them out. So just be careful that uh, you're always screwing in and not unscrewing. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put this... Uh, fill valve in and the first thing we do is put uh, is put this tube on it and you want to support with one hand this because it's just brittle plastic and stick it on with the other hand and once it's in the bowl we'll stick the other end in there's a hole in the front wall here that just goes in I don't know if you can see it there's a hole right down right right there there's a there's a hole that the other end goes in and that supplies the water that swirls plus fills up the bowl after the flush. It's very important, that's what that does. And again, supporting this. Okay, now we're gonna put it in. Well, first we're gonna take this bolt off because this goes under the tank. Careful not to break anything off. This is on with just that little piece of plastic. You want to be really careful with all of this stuff. Okay, it goes right in there. And 
man, I gotta do this with two. Oh, we got our supply line on there real nice. And uh, we did the bottom first, tightened it up, and then we did the top, make sure we didn't cross thread it. Uh, we just check in here that everything is moving freely, and even that little black float that's down inside. Uh, careful not to break anything. The next thing we're gonna do is put this uh, flapper on, and we're gonna turn it on and check it. Okay, so I basically eyeball the chain, and uh, and then so it's even with the arm, and then I, with my fingers, I take about an inch away to make up for this clip, and then double check it. You don't want it like stressing out the ears of the thing that it's too tight when you, when you flush it, because it'll eventually rip. Um, but you don't want it uh, so loose that it doesn't pick it up, and. Um, you actually want it to like engage pretty soon after they touch the handle so you don't have to push it off. But you play with that and uh, remove any excess chain. You don't want like a lot of excess chain swinging around and it just get tangled up on something. Flicking fleeks around here right away. Making sure everything's cool here. That part's looking good. And uh, I'm gonna make sure you got good flow around the rim. That comes from that clear plastic hose. And that little black float that's hanging off the side of that thing controls that too. And then we wanna make sure that this fills up to the fill line. And we can adjust it with these screws. The nice thing about the color is it comes with that instruction book that's got like uh, all the instructions for the adjustments in there. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, rate, because it helps everybody out, other users reading it, and sub, because it helps me out with this YouTube gig. And um, see you later. That was the first fillet right up to the top of the tube. So that is this screw here. We can adjust the, uh, well, we can bend the arm. It's easier to do this screw here. So we're just gonna give that like a half a turn, bring that water level down a little bit. And then we're gonna check in here that uh, if that foam gasket is good, this water will be nice and still in here. If that foam gasket, if we did that bad, it'd be like trickles and stuff. So this looks like a good job. We just gotta adjust the uh, water level.